when we're studying about fifths on the staff, we can notice that they look very much like thirds, a line note with a line note, but we have to have another line in between. So it's really line, skip a line, line. Or if we start in a space, it's space, skip a space, space. Twinkle, twinkle, that's a fifth. Here's a song about fifths. It's called Twinkling Fifths. First it's my turn, then it's yours. Twinkle, twinkle, here's a fifth. See? Twinkle, twinkle, here's a fifth. Like a third with one more skill. Like a third with one more skill. Line to line or space to space. Line to line or space to space. Twinkling fifths are every place. Twinkling fifths are every place. Twinkle, twinkle, here's a fifth. Like a third with one more skip. Line to line or space to space. Twinkling fifths are every place. Twinkling fifths was a great way to introduce the interval of a fifth to students since it uses a variation of a familiar folk song. Twinkling fifths makes a great addition to a recital program because it helps the parent understand how the fifth looks both in the hand, on the keyboard, and on the staff. You may continue to reinforce this interval in a variety of ways. Name a key, ask the student to tell you the key that would be up a fifth or down a fifth from the key that you name. P place magnets on the magnetic board to identify fifths. Use the music for little Mozart's flashcards that show fifths and play games with those flashcards. You may also want to play fifths in a variety of locations on the keyboard. 